Hello again and thank you for checking out my videos on how to build something really simple. I'm a beginner at Minecraft and I'm trying to make these for people who are just starting out and wanting to build something. Something that's not too complicated or may not take a whole lot of understanding about the game. And today I thought the boat dock I made needed something special, something added to it. So I wanted to make a sun deck that was right outside the front part of the, the boat dock itself and I've already done most of the work so let's go ahead and get back to this and, and there's my buddy Scooter. Oh Scooter, what, what, are you hungry? You need something to eat? Okay, hang on. Let me let's see if I've got anything I can feed him real quick. He might be a little bit on the hungry side. I don't have any raw pork. I'll tell you what, I'll get you something to eat in just a few minutes, okay? You stay here. Now, I've already done most of the work. I did leave enough of it left over to where you can see what I'm working on and how to do this. If you check out the video that I did on how to make this boat dock here, you'll see that the ground part was all sand right in through here, like I've got this piece and this little piece right over here. So I've dug down one block and cleared out this whole area, as you can see, and I've taken wooden slabs. I'll show you how to make that in just a moment. And I filled all of this in. And I need to correct myself real quick. I made this out of wooden planks, not slabs. There is a difference. So now, I've gathered up all the supplies that we're going to need to make this. And you can do it in less than an hour. It took me a little bit longer because I've played around with it some. But to make the wooden planks, and you can use any type of tree you want to. Uh, darker trees give you a darker look. The lighter tree, like the birch, the wood will be a little bit lighter. So it's up to you, whatever you want to use. But to make the the wooden the wooden planks here, you just get your tree, you chop it down, take all the wood, come over to your crafting bench, and you left click and place it in any one of these squares, no matter which one. And you'll get four wooden planks for each one of these that are in that stack. Now from here you can take that and make it into uh, sticks for armor, torches, well not armor, but uh, tools, torches, weapons, and to, to make the stick you just take your wooden plank, left click, bring it up here and right click one time that will drop half of what you've got in your hand and then left click and drop the other right there on top of it and now you have a wooden stick now get that out of that come back here and let's look in my inventory see what I've got I've only got four of them so we're going to need more than that let's go ahead and add this to it, move the glowstone, add nine to that bundle, now that should be enough, go ahead and add the four to it, yeah that would be enough to carry us over, and I apologize for the quality of this video and the lagginess of it, uh, my computer is well, to be honest with you, it's a POS. It's old and slow, kind of like I am. Now to place it, you just take your mouse, put it where you want it, and right click. And my computer is lagging. There we go. That's starting. And you just keep doing this all the way across 
You want to fill in the opening that you have. Since I'm trying to record this, it's being extra laggy. I'm using the new 1.6 version of Minecraft. I just got it yesterday. And I'm really enjoying it. They've got some new features included on this one with uh, now you can have a horses and there's mules, donkeys. We even now have carpet. I think that's pretty nice. So if you're building a house, you can Add carpet to your floor, spruce it up a little bit. And you just want to keep doing this. You don't want to do that. And you just want to keep right clicking and hitting the S button that will let you step backwards and you want to fill in all the opening around this. Now I'm leaving the dirt, the sand patch right here, I'm leaving it there on purpose. I did not remove that because I've got special plans that I want to do something right there. I'm going to show you what that is in just a moment. Almost done with the deck. And just a few more pieces need to be added. If I can stop adding more pieces than what I need. got the deck finished, the walking part on it, and what we want to do now is you want to put your fence around it. That will keep any wildlife out, and it will also help keep any mods from being able to get in here with you. I'm going to put the wood back. I'm going to grab my fence, bring it down, and I'll show you how to make the fence real quick. Just take the same wooden planks that you made earlier, and this time you want to right click and fill in all three of the lower and all three of the middle. And when I am so sorry, that is not a fence. Let me try that again. You want to take your planks and make sticks. and take these and put them in the lower three and the middle three. And that will make you a fence. Just like that. So now that we've got the fence in our hand, we want to come over here where we want to place it. And yes, as you can see, I've already done a big piece of it. I've only got a small section of it left to, to add. And you want to Click on the top part of the block, and you want to go all the way down to where you have an opening. You can put a step there if you want to. You can, if you have it flat all the way across, you can leave it just open. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. Now, put this, oh wait, I'm not done with the fence yet. I got one more thing I want to show you with it. Uh, now, right here, you cannot jump over a fence. Animals can't jump over it. The mods can't jump over it. But because there's a gap right here, there is a chance that something could accidentally get across. So the way to eliminate that is to right-click 
on top part of that post and it will add a piece right there and that's okay it may not look nice but I'm going to do something with that here in just a few minutes you see I've got one like that on the other side and I'm going to add to that here shortly so now while we got the fence in our hand let's go ahead a sun deck may be too bright so let's make an umbrella and put here count back three spaces and you want to right click place a single one then you want to get on the very top of it and right click again and that will extend it up some more now if you've got some dirt or sand maybe some cobblestone or whatever you might have available go ahead and grab one of those I've got some sand here get that out and I'm going to come back and I'm going to place one I'm going to see how three of these will look it might be too tall let me step back a little piece no I think three of them will be alright now I'm going to make a step out of the, out of the sand here that that way I can do some more work on it and what we need now is what they call a wooden slab I call them a half slab because it's half the size of one of these wooden planks now to make the half slab again you take the wooden planks come over to your crafting bench and you just right click and you place one all the way across the bottom row or any one of these three rows just place a single one all the way across and you'll get an oak wood slab which is half the size of one of these so let's go ahead and get a little bit of those and oh wait let's go ahead and get some stairs too Here's the stairs, and to make stairs, you take the wooden planks, and you form a staircase in the boxes with your wooden planks, fill in like that, and you'll get stairs. And it will take more than one, depending on how high up you want to go, and just take a little playing around with it. Now let's place the stairs. Let me get around here a little bit better. Let's place the stairs right at the top part of this. Okay, that's upside down. Let's try a little bit lower. A couple ways. That way we can see what we're doing. Now that's still. First, I think what we need to do is place one of these little, if I can stand the block, it would be helpful. There. Now, let's put one of these half slabs on the very top, like that step off of the sand. Now let's try placing the stairs on there and see if it works better. You want to aim for the lower part that's what you have to do. I forgot to add the top part of that. So now aim for the lower part of the wooden slab, extend that out to the other side, do the same thing, and on the last side you want to do the exact same thing one more time, and then you want to go to your little half slab and fill in the little gap in, on each side of it, a little bit on 
that side. Take back your sand. And you can make that as big as you want to or as small as you want to. And now we need something that we can sit on. So let's go ahead and take our stairs. And they're used for more than just walking up and down on. We can take these and place them. Uh, let's put one right there. And we have a chair. And you can use different types of wood and it will look different like lighter or darker. We're going to put one over here and we'll put one right there. Now we've got three places that we can sit down and talk to our friends. Come in here real quick and put the stairs up. We're almost done with this. Get rid of the fence. That, the sand. basically put everything back in the chest for right now. And the second thought, I'm going to need that fence. And I may need to make a little bit more. I've got some down there. Alright, grab the glowstones right here. I'm going to quickly make a few more of these fences. this in here and make a couple more so we can add to what we've got. And then come over here to each one of the corners and we want to add one fence to the top part. Then go to the other corner. Well, let's we're going to add two of them. I said one, we'll, we'll change it, we'll add two. Add one to that one. I'm going to need a few more of these. And I'm going to need something to stand on, so let's bring back the sand. And make a few more of these.
So we'll come to the top part and we'll right click again. And extend it out that way. We're going to come to this side, extend it out this way. Make a lamp post. And we want to gather up that sand. glowstone that we've got to the underside of each one of these and that will give us a little bit of light during the night time again. And we want to do this all the way around all four sides. It'll be getting dark here pretty soon. You'll be able to see how it lights up the area. Again, as you can see, I'm definitely a beginner. One more time with the fence, put a post on top, at the front, step off of the block and then get it, but reclaim it, if my computer will quit being a booger. Computer's got me so aggravated I can't think straight. And we'll take back the sand one last time. Finish up the lighting system here. Get a little bit closer so I don't make a mistake.
that does need to go up higher. I'll fix it later. But the idea is it'll provide like a lamp. It'll look kind of like a lamp post. You can do a single one, and I may go back and change it and make it into a single lamp post. Have it facing inward. Now the reason why I left the sand right here is not that one. I want to take some colored dyed wool and you can make them different colors now. I just picked two different colors that I thought might look nice and I want to dig up the sand Go ahead and put this down here where the sand used to be. And we now have a towel that we can lay on. Yes. Get our tan going. Let's do one more over here on this side. Don't want to place it. I want to drop it. please. Thank you. I swear my computer is a POS. that we can lay on. And this is also good if you want to use it for your floor system. I mean, you can use it like carpet if you don't like the colors that we've got available in the 1.6 version. And we also going to need a, a gate right there if you would like one or maybe some stairs. And since we're going to need some steps to get up and down, Let's go ahead and make another set of steps and we'll place that real quick. And I would drop it, wouldn't I? Alright, let's try that one more time. And this time, let's remember to get the steps and back up a little piece and aim low, place the step. Now you can just step right up, you don't have to jump. You can put a gate here, and I think I may have one. I don't, but we can make a gate real quick. I'll go ahead and do this. I believe the gate is made to make a gate. I'm sorry I can't remember how to do it. I thought it was just three of them. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it open. But you can put a gate on there if you want one. You can leave it open. I would prefer there be a gate that way you'll be safer. You see it's dark now, and this does light up a little bit better. And of course you can always add torches across your fence, and that will brighten it up even more. You can add some on your corner post, on your 
post right here. Uh, if you want one here at your umbrella, we can put one there. Let's go get some torches. And we'll quickly place a few little torches right there on the umbrella to help brighten it up some. There they are. Right, let's just quickly run back. To, you can take a torch and add it to the top part. Okay. I'll, I thought you could do that. I am sorry. I told you wrong. But if I'm not mistaken, you, I know you can add them over here on top of this. And that will definitely help brighten it up a little bit. Get a little closer so I can put this down like that. I left one of the lamp posts with no lights on it, but I'll go back later and fix that. We can add one here. That way it matches the other side. And you see it brightens it up a little bit more. But I do appreciate you taking time to watch this and I apologize from the bottom of my heart for how laggy it was and how long it took to finish something that should have been a lot quicker. If I wasn't trying to record this, it wouldn't have taken as long as it did. But I'm new, I'm learning, and I want to try to help other people who are just starting out. Hopefully this will give you some ideas, and I hope you, you like how this looks. And feel free to copy it, change it, you know, add whatever you want to make it look the way you want to. I mean, it's going to be your build and as long as you're happy that's what matters. So if you like this video please hit that like button down there. Feel free to subscribe. I've got simple builds that I'm doing and I'm also doing a series where I'm taping where I'm exploring different things in Minecraft like caverns and mines, dungeons, temples, you know, exploring the world a little bit as I learn. So please feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave your comments, your ideas, suggestions, your thoughts. You know, I'd love to hear from you. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this. And tomorrow is July 4th. So I hope you and your family will have a wonderful holiday. Please be safe. And I'll talk with you later.